Hey, this is Kasang Maha Kaparu for New World Dimensions, and I'm here downtown Manhattan by NYU, the great learning institution. So I wanted to make this video, and this video is going to be the introduction to the tarot. Now, one of the things you have to keep in mind and understand is that we're living in the dark ages, that information is being suppressed, and what you're learning at the major institutions, learning institutions, universities, is pure crap. It is done from an external perspective of where you are basically being fed information and you have to memorize it and you have to regurgitate it. That is not being taught how to intuit wisdom and knowledge, uh, more so how to um, keep in place a status quo of information that is um, kind of sanctioned by the system. So one of the things that you can do, and actually what we were meant to do, was that we were meant to be guided by the Creator through the tools such as oracles. And one of the oracles that is really great, and oh, here's some cool singers over here. Check them out. Uh, sorry, man. Oh, all right. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Yeah. So one of the things that um, we can do is intuit information and wisdom from the Creator because we were put here with a connection to the Creator to communicate with and that is through the oracles, and there's very different types of oracles. Western culture has a tarot, which um, comes from Africa. And I don't want to get into tracing the lineage and all that. But I want to give you an introductory uh, class on tarot, how it works, and um, so you can understand it. But it's not a means of solely predicting the future, that it can, but it's also a means of uh, giving you some wisdom and guidance for your daily life. Um, now, Western culture has perverted the tarot. Um, you'll see in movies, television, and even, um, you know, Miss Cleo, um, they're basically, you know, using it as a, a predictive tool, a way to try and, uh, you know, tell your future and all that crap. But what I want you to understand is that these tools, these oracles, are, are means to communicate with the creator of the universe, to give you guidance on a day-to-day -day basis. It's not something to say, you know, a go-to to find if you're going to get money, if you're going to get that guy or girl or whatever, though it can do that, but it's something that's uh, much more deeper than that. So let's go um, to this clip where I'm going to give you basically an introduction to how to use it. Hey all, so now we come to a very basic introduction to the tarot. What I want to do here is I want to talk about uh, the power of the tarot as an oracle or a predictive tool. I want to talk about the different types of spreads and then I will talk about the, uh, which I'll start now, a little bit about how the modern culture and society has vilified the tarot. So let me start with that and get into it. I want you to forget everything that you've been told about the tarot um, as a fortune telling device, as some type of demonic tool and so forth. Special interest groups, meaning um, religious institutions, Hollywood, you know, bad tarot practitioners have really given the tarot a bad name. It is an ancient oracle that is phenomenal in helping to assist you and guide you in your day-to-day -day activities if you use it properly. As I said before, is it a predictive tool? Can it predict your future? Yes, it can do that. But there are so many layers to it and so much wealth of information that you can gather from it that it is amazing. When I was first introduced to the tarot, it was by my brother, and he was playing around doing some spreads, and I'll explain what that means later. And I remember him coming to me shocked, saying, you know, that tarot is very accurate. And even then, I didn't jump into it. It wasn't until a couple of years later when I was already experimenting and working proficiently with the, the oracles, the Ifa, the I Ching, and the Maduna Tear. That's when I decided to get into the tarot, and I was very amazed myself how really powerful it was. So again, let's forget everything you've been told, you heard about the tarot, it's been misinformation, and let's get really into uh, the weeds here about what it really can do to enhance your life. Now, right here, I have the, the cards basically laid out in what we call the spread, and there are different types of spreads depending upon what information you're looking for. This is called the Celtic Cross, and it's very popular among tarot practitioners, so I'm going to what each card position means. I won't talk about the card individually. We'll do that in another um, video. So let me start. This first card here, and this is actually 
card number one, really sums up the entire reading, the entire situation. And you can tell a lot about what's going on in terms of your um, query by what this card reveals. This card here is the challenges or things that will assist this card. So it either adds or subtracts from this card. This card here, which is at the bottom, is the underlying or things that are lying underneath kind of a theme, the underlying theme that's going on here. This card here is behind you. This is the most recent past. This card represents an alternative outcome, a possible outcome. This card reveals the immediate future. And I like to say this card talks about what will happen in the next two weeks. This card is your feeling about the entire matter. This card is how other people see you. This card is your hopes and dreams. And finally, this card is the ultimate outcome, the most likely outcome. And again, we call this the uh, Celtic cross spread. There are many, many other spreads. Um, again, depending upon the type of information you're looking to get, a particular spread will assist you in getting the information and dissecting it. So that was your basic understanding of the tarot. And in the next video, I will really get deeper, deeper into talking about the individual cards, what they mean, the positive and negative aspects to each card. But for now, I wanted to just give you this overarching, you know, kind of idea of what it represents, dispel the rumors that are out there. And I truly believe that if you learn to use this tarot properly, it is such a powerful tool that it's going to enhance your life so much. So that's it. That's your introduction 101 to the tarot. Let's go back to me uh, talking in the street. So I hope that gave you um, a great understanding of how to work the tarot and um, what it's really meant to be used for. And we have to understand that we're living in the dark ages. Information is being suppressed. We're being fed garbage through um, the news outlets, through the media, through the universities. We have to bring the old world knowledge back and create a new world. And that's what New World Dimensions is all about. So this is Sankh Mod, Kevin Roof from New World Dimensions, and that's all for now.